Hello and welcome to another tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can set up page events. So as you can see, we are here in the Thrive Architect Editor. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the gear icon from the right sidebar and then click on Advanced Settings. Now here, just go ahead and click on Page Events. And basically, as you can see, the Page Event Manager shows up on the screen and you can go ahead and select a trigger between these two options. So you can choose between the Exit Intent, which means that the Page Event will appear when the visitor tries to exit the page, and then Timer, meaning that the Page Event will be displayed after a certain amount of time. So for the exit intent, you can also select this checkbox from here if you want to perform this action on mobile devices as well. And this is due to the fact that the exit intent cannot be detected on mobile devices, so instead the page event will be displayed after a time delay. So for that you will have to also set up after how many seconds this page load should happen. The default is set to 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And then you can click on continue and select between these two different actions for the trigger. Now the same actions are available when you are using the timer. So I'm just going to proceed with showing you how to use the timer and then on to the next step I'm going to be showing you how to choose between a Thrive Lightbox and a Thrive Leads Thrive Box. So now you can see that I went back to the first step which is selecting the trigger. We went through the options available for the exit intent. Now let's go ahead and see what we can set up for the timer one. So here as well, you can do the same. Basically, you can decide the number of seconds that will pass before the event will be triggered and will show up on the screen. I'm going to leave it once more as it is, set to the default 10 seconds, click on continue. And now we are back here on this screen where we can select between these two different triggers. So you can decide to open a Thrive Lightbox or open a Thrive Leads Thrive Box. Now here, if you go for the first option, if you select the Thrive Lightbox, you have the option of creating a new Lightbox from here or selecting one that's already created on your website. But if you decide to create a new one, you can just click here on Create New Lightbox, type in the title, click on this check mark, and now this Lightbox has been added. What you can also do here is add an animation for it, so simply browse through this list and select the one that you like the most. Now I'm going to click on save. I will get to this final pop-up where I can see the existing events that have been set up in the page event manager. And what I can also do here is edit the lightbox. So if I click on edit the lightbox, I will trigger the Thrive editor. And here I can start making changes that I want to my lightbox. At the moment is a blank content one, but I can drag and drop lead generation forms and other types of elements to it and then feel free to customize it in order to match the overall aspect of the page on which this lightbox will show up. Also, if you're using a lead generation form, don't forget to set up the API connection for it. Now, after you've done customizing your lightbox, you can just exit and your page event has been added, but don't forget to save your work. Now, so far we've seen how to add a Thrive lightbox as the trigger. Now let's see how to open a Thrive Leads Thrive box instead. So here as well, you can decide between the exit intent or the timer triggers. We've previously set up the Thrive Lightbox for the timer. Let's set up the Thrive Leads Thrive Box for the exit intent this time. So simply select it from here. And then you'll get once more this dropdown list that you can open if you want to load an already saved Thrive Leads Thrive Box. I have one that I've previously created. We have resources in our knowledge base that show you in detail how to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the selection as it is. Click on save. Here as well, I can go ahead and access the editor if I want to bring changes to my already existing Thrive Box. And if not, I can just proceed with adding a new event or close the screen and save once more my page. And now I'm going to show you how the page events work on this landing page on which I've just set them up. So the one that I've saved for this example is the exit intent one and the trigger is a Thrive List Thrive Box. So let's preview the page. So now I am browsing my landing page in a private window and now I'm gonna show you my exit intent. So I'm gonna slowly go with my cursor to the top right corner of my page to mark my exit intent and as soon as I did that the light box has appeared on my screen. Now these were the steps for adding page events from the event manager. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Don't hesitate to check out other tutorials of this type available in our knowledge base.